Hey guys, welcome to my podcast, and welcome to The Ryan's Den. What's up guys, I'm Ryan Wysocki. Yes, the Allstate High School Bowler, but uh, that's in the past, so please, just think of me as a regular average Joe. Alright, what do you guys want to know? Uh, I'm a Scorpio, uh, I'm right-handed, I was not a C-section baby, I was, I was in fact a normal birth. Um, and I have an emotionally crippling relationship with my Uncle Chris. So that's what you need to know about me. Every podcast, I'll be talking uh, about something revolving around the individual podcast topic, which in today's case happens to be famous motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, not famous motherfuckers. That's cool, but uh, we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about motherfuckers who are famous. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to hear a segment on famous motherfuckers, uh, go ahead and click on my dad's channel. His name is Dane. Yeah, The Great Dane Speaks the Truth. Great podcast. Love his work. All right, so basically, I'm going to be doing a bunch of top five lists and explain why I picked the five people on the list. So this first list is called Top Five Actors That I Would Most Want Over for a Glass of Wine to Chat. Ooh, let's find out. Uh, yeah, basically my favorites here. Number one, gotta be Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, yeah, the Swiss Army knife of the industry. The man can do it all. Uh, give him some more Oscars. Number two, Denzel Washington. So many amazing roles. Uh, the dude is as cool as the side of the pillow you're sleeping on. Number three, Vince Vaughn. Uh, I think he's got a lot of haters. I tend to think he's pretty funny and witty. Four, Matt Damon. I picked him because he has not had one, like, bad movie, or even average movie. Every movie he's been in is, like, 90% and above on Rotten Tomatoes, so he's got to be up there. Number five, I picked Christian Bale, the real Batman. Get out of here, Clooney. Get out of here, Affleck and others. Uh, I hear he's kind of a bitch on set, and people don't like him, but he's got a fan right here. All right, this next list is called the top five actors that just don't do it for me. They don't get me there. They don't make the cut. Number one, Ben Stiller. Ooh. Yeah, he's had one good movie. Yeah, Blue Steel. That's right. Night at the Museum. Yep. Number two, Ryan Reynolds. You know, I feel like he wants everybody to know he's the best Canadian. And he's too... Ryan Reynolds for me. Number three, Samuel L. Jackson. You know, he's pretty popular, he's famous, and he's got, motherfucker, you know, he does that, but I think he's had one good movie, which was Coach Carter, and even in that, Richmond carried him. Those boys carried him, like Worm and Kenyon. (laughs) So, he's, he's three for me. Four, Jared Leto. Uh, you know, I didn't have an opinion on him until he had long hair. But now I just don't like him. Number five, Jack Black. Why is he famous? You know, I will admit, <laughs> School of Rock was perfectly casted. That role was made for him, and he and he killed that. Other than that, his name rhymes. That's about it. All right, this next list is called Top 5 Actors I Would Run, Find Shelter, and Alert the Authorities If I Saw Them in Public. These are people that, to me, are terrifying and very creepy. Uh, Number one, Benedict Cumberbatch. Right off the bat. Benedict? Benedict? And then Cumberbatch? God. Number two, Mel Gibson. I don't know if he's always been a crazy person or if there was like a switch in his head a couple years ago that said, all right, time to be insane. But he's pretty terrifying. Three, Frankie Muniz. I don't know if he's still around, but he sucks. He's very little. He's like three foot 14. Uh, Keeps getting younger. That's 100% true. You can look it up. Uh, But he sucks. Number number four, Rebel Wilson. Fat Amy, the funny, chubby singing girl that everybody loves. Not me. No, she's scary, and her name is Rebel or Rebel. Uh, Either way, equally as terrifying, she's pretty scary. That's number four. Number five, Morgan Freeman. Oh, but I love Morgan Freeman. No, no, because he knows too much, and 
if he clenched his fists and thought hard enough, the world could end. So that's why he's scary to me. All right, top five actresses I hate. Number one, Scarlett Johansson. Her voice is annoying and she cut her hair. Number two, Anne Hathaway. Catwoman was underwhelming as well as all the other roles she's been in. Uh, no, well, I will say Princess Diaries was at Anne at her peak and I have that on DVD. All right, number three, Cara Delevingne. Yeah, she needs to go back to where she came from, which was, what, England? Even though they probably don't want her either. Yeah, she was uh, Enchantress in Suicide Squad. Uh, she had one line, she had one word that she had to say, which was Enchantress. And she ruined the movie with it. So that's three. Number four, Kristen Stewart. I feel bad because she gets made fun of a lot. And she's actually a really insecure person if you've ever seen her on a talk show. So I kind of feel bad for her, but at the same time, she sucks. Number five, Katherine Heigl. Her last name is Heigl with a silent E at the end, which makes her what race? Uh, some fucked up form of German uh, or a descendant of raw dead tuna. Uh, it's one of the two. It can't be anything else. So that's the actresses I hate. All right, guys, so that was my podcast for today. I'm going to leave you with my signature send-off, Hot or Not. Today's Hot or Not is singers, pop singers. What's hot? Bruno Mars. Boy, oh boy, does he come out with a hot new single every three or four months. So he's what's hot right now. What's not? For the fourth consecutive year in a row, Pitbull again. Yeah, his songs are just, he just says a bunch of zip codes. And some Spanish version of The Weather's Nice. So, that's that, guys. Join us next time on The Ryan's Den.